Welcome back, folks. It is Monday, March 11th, 2024, and it is about 2.35, 2.40 in the afternoon. Just got off work, on my way home. Gonna go the back way. I'll be driving old school today, uh, manually by myself, not letting the car drive, just cause I wanna drive. As of right now, I have been fasting for a little over 19 hours. 19 hours and six minutes if we we're being precise uh, with it being 2.36 at the moment. Uh, however, this is what I do every day, Monday through Friday. Anyways, so nothing abnormal yet. With one exception, I have not had any sort of caffeine whatsoever and the normal days isn't a true fast. My little uh, drink packets that I put in my water, uh, those each have 45 calories a piece and I normally, sorry, got the hiccups, normally do two of those a day. But I haven't had any of those. I've had nothing but water and a bunch of water at that. Um, today I'm drinking out of one of my uh, mugs and it is a 30 ounce mug and I have refilled it and refilled it and refilled it and refilled it and uh, I have drank 120 ounces plus a little bit of this fifth cup um, so that is quite a bit of water for me in eight hours. Um, I've still got the rest of the day to go. Uh, one of the big things to keep in mind when you're fasting, if you are fasting, is that you need to make sure you're drinking water. It's very important that you drink enough water. Um, if you don't, uh, your body will be hurting big time. So yeah, drink that water. Um, and that is why I was making a push uh, the past week or so uh, to try to drink more water is in getting pre prepared for doing this fast um, so I could work my way up instead of trying to squeeze that uh, much of a change in at the same time as the fast. Um, that would have been way too many things changing at once. Um, as it is, uh, the restroom breaks will increase in frequency, no doubt. Um, when you increase your water intake, of course you have to go to the restroom more frequently. As you drink uh, more consistently throughout the day, you're going to use the restroom more frequently as well. Um, instead of being dehydrated for eight hours and then you drink a little bit at supper time, you know, obviously that's going to use the restroom less than somebody who drinks all throughout the day. Uh, the other part of that though is um, there becomes a certain point so many hours into the fast. I'll have to look it up. I think it's around the 24, 36 hour mark. Maybe it's at the 48 hour mark where your body goes into ketosis. Um, and when it's doing that, it's basically saying, hey, I need to burn fat uh, to get me the energy because the sugar is no longer providing the energy that it used to. Um, that's what you were hoping for. Turn that on, get that going. But one of the uh, side effects of being in ketosis is you have to urinate a bunch as well. So combine those two things together and yes, it's more bathroom trips than I am used to. It's a change, but it's a good change. It's healthy for you. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I was expecting to have a pretty good headache today um, because of the no caffeine. But surprisingly, I don't really have a headache at all. Um, I can feel one kind of 
it feels like it's I'm getting ready to have a little bit of a headache um, so when I get home I'll probably pop some Tylenol or Advil or whatever I have to fix that problem um, but other than that I feel like any other day now don't get me wrong I am hungry I'm always hungry but I have not had any moments yet where I go oh I really need to eat um, but again I do this every day as my normal I normally only eat once a day um, if sometimes I'll eat like lunch and supper but those are like within four hours of each other and combine it all together into pretty much one big meal that's split into two um, but normal intermittent fasting is like 16 hours of fasting an eight hour window of eating something like that um, this is more extreme than that obviously and more extreme than the other which is like 20 and 4, 20 hours of fasting, 4 hours of eating, or even 23 and 1, where it's 23 hours of fasting and 1 hour of eating, um, then obviously when you're trying to eat once and you only have 1 hour to eat, um, it is hard to have a huge influx of calories come in in that 1 hour. Uh, so that's part of why people like to do intermittent fasting. The uh, more intermittent it is, the longer in between your meals and the less time you have to eat uh, when you are not fasting is the harder it is to overeat and consume more calories than you intend to. It's kind of an easier way of calorie counting if you want to look at it that way. And I know this is super boring for most of you. So thanks for sticking around and listening to it. Uh, but tomorrow will be the difficult time, uh, more so in the morning on my way to work because it's it all have been over 24 hours. It's in that weird 24 to 36 hour window there. Um, but that's okay. I got water to get me through. I am a, I'm a big, big boy. I can go a long time without food. That being said, uh, one of the areas that I visit all the time to do research is Reddit. And uh, first off, please, if you're going to do something, make sure you research it and uh, research it correctly. Don't be an idiot about it. Um, Reddit for the most part is not a place I would go to do any sort of medical advice from um, but in certain forums certain subreddits they have extensive um, studies and instructions and all sorts of stuff to help you out the intermittent fasting subreddit is one of those forums where they have study after study after study and instructions and you're talking with people who are going through the same thing and it's a nice place to get it um, and then of course you should be fact checking all that stuff yourself don't just blindly trust anything you see on the internet um, should be common sense by now but it's 2024 and look where we are um, but there is a guy I started talking to yesterday on there who is, I'm going to call him the king of fasting uh, just because he has done some incredible fasts. Um, his longest one is over 70 days, a 70 day fast. Uh, some over 50 days long, multiple over 30 days long. Uh, just a bunch of fasting. And so I talked to him and got some advice from him and yeah so that's good too but yeah uh, I would love to do a 30 day fast but I just don't have it in me right now 
I need to work up to it. If this was a few years ago, I would have had no problems doing it. Um, assuming I do it correctly. But where I'm at right now, uh, I definitely need to start with these shorter ones and then work my way up to them. But yeah. Uh, anyways, Monday is our weigh-in day. Uh, I should have put this at the beginning, but that's okay. Um, the weigh-in day, it's the big day. And uh, once again, the weight went up. Let's set it down. Now we are at uh, 345 pounds. Uh, but on the good side, good news is that is our new starting weight uh, for tracking weight loss to see how this intermittent fasting is working. And uh, so next week on Monday, we should be less than 345 pounds. Hopefully we are less than 340 pounds. Um, but we will see. And I am excited for that. And I'm excited for everything in the future. Remember, this Friday will mark 26 weeks until our cruise. And I'm going to talk about it a bunch. Because I'm excited for the cruise. 26 weeks is going to fly by. So technically we're 26 weeks and 4 days away. So, uh, yeah. And uh, if you think it's bad on here, you should see me outside of recording videos for YouTube. Uh, I talk about cruising and trips all the time. Uh, yep, it's great. I love it. But I'm almost home, so I'm going to let you go. As I yawn, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for checking in on me, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.